Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Rebecca. I haven't filmed a long form video in so long. I am so excited to be back and I have a new camera. So this is my first time filming a long form video on this camera. So hopefully the quality is given. But today's video is a what's in my bag. What's in my pollen numero 9 or number 9 bag. I have it in a black. This is the regular size. Six months ago, I got this bag. I actually filmed an unboxing and like an initial review on my channel. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see it. But today I'm gonna go over what actually fits in this bag and overall my honest thought and review after wearing this bag pretty much almost every day for the past almost six months. I was looking for an everyday bag and I thought this was actually perfect. I'm gonna start with some pros. The first pro is that this bag is absolutely beautiful, it's chic, it's elegant, it's classy. The logo is so discreet. You literally only have pollen there on the side. So if you are into quiet luxury, if you are into minimal luxury if you don't like to wear too much logo and have too much like logo in people's face this bag is definitely for you um that's the first pro another pro is the price point if you're trying to get into like luxury and just good quality leather bags in general i think this is a really good price point it's around 500 ish price point which is not bad for like an entry level um good quality leather luxury bag another pro the straps the bag comes with straps so if you're out and about like i said this is my everyday bag so when uh usually when i'm like shopping or i am at a grocery store or i'm just like with my kids and i want my hands to be free the straps comes in handy because i can wear it on my shoulder or I can wear a cross body. Let's uh, talk about cons. I think I only have two cons for this bag, but one of them is the strap. Even though the strap is a pro because it's, it comes in handy, it's also a con because I feel like it's too, um, too skinny. I wish the strap would have been um, a little more thick, you know? I feel like this particular strap is more suitable to the mini version of this bag, because if you guys don't know, these bags also come in a mini size i feel like the straps are more suitable to that the bag is a little too big for the straps and then one more con is the opening of the bag the opening of the bag can be really tight which results in stitches coming apart you start noticing like the stitches coming um out i just wish that the opening had i wish they had like uh, snaps here Kind of like how they did in the pollen numero 1 class. I also have the pollen numero 1 and that's what I like about it is that it has snaps to expand the opening. So I wish they would have done this one like that too. Because they can definitely put some snaps in there and still preserve the little like you know envelope shape or flower shape that they're going for. I think it will still um, function that way. Let's get into what's in the bag. First thing first I have a phone in here. This is... Um, this is an iPhone 11. This is my second phone. My primary phone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I usually hold it in my hands because I'm always using it. And then I have a wallet. This is an insert from a Louis Vuitton uh, wallet that I have. And I've been using the insert because it's more like compact and all I carry really in there is just like my cards, health insurance and uh, ID and things like that. So it's nice and flat and then i have a makeup bag in there this is an old dior makeup bag and inside i have a compact chanel powder foundation i carry it just in case i need to touch up my makeup and i also have my setting spray this is a holy grail the shallow tuberary airbrush flawless setting spray i've been using this it's absolutely amazing i actually got the small size because i wanted to try it and i'm so in love so once i'm done with this i think i'm gonna get the bigger size i carry this with me just in case i have to touch up my makeup then i can set my spray my face with the shadow tuberary it's amazing uh, if you're into makeup and you watch like makeup girls i know you know 
about that um, setting sprays. It's a must have if you're into makeup. And then I have a lip gloss. This is a Chanel lip gloss in the shade 119, Rouge Coco 119. Love this. And then I've been using uh, recently the Mario Badescu Rose Lip Balm. And then I have the, comp the Chanel Compact Mirror. This is another holy grail to have. Of course, a compact mirror. Every woman needs a compact mirror. It doesn't have to be a Chanel compact mirror, but you need a compact mirror, girl. You need to make sure you don't have anything between your teeth. I'm proud of myself because lately I've been like organizing my things in my bath just so they are easily accessible and just more organized in general. I got this little pouch from Sephora when I bought the Soul General Bomb Bomb Cream and I think a shower gel and a body mist. It was like a kit and I was like, oh, this is a cute little pouch that I can actually use to put some stuff and put it in my bag instead of just throwing them in there. So the first thing I have in here are my eye drops. I have allergy issues and I have sensitive eyes. So I kind of always have like an entire each like eye drops that I carry with me in my bag. I have um, hand sanitizer. I used to literally spend probably $10 every week or every other week on the on the Touchland hand sanitizer until I was scrolling down on Timu and I saw this refillable hand sanitizer or I guess you can put anything in it you can put like hairspray body spray or something but when I saw it I was like oh this reminds me of the Touchland hand sanitizer so I've been refilling it with hand sanitizer the outer pink part can come apart and you can just carry it like this so look at that it looks exactly almost exactly like the touch land so if you like that aesthetic but you don't want to be spending ten dollars every week on the touch land hand sanitizer you can just get you a refillable uh, bottle from Timu this was probably a dollar or two dollars if I can still find them I'll link it below for you guys and this though has a little snap here so you can snap it on your bag or something and I think they had like different colors as well and the next thing I have is this is a body mist um, the Sol de Janeiro the Brazilian crush this is a pistachio and salted caramel I love this like this is one of my summer favorites it smells so fresh and if you don't want to like wear perfume especially for this extreme hot weather this is perfect they had so many scents different scents that I liked as well but I love this body mist it just smells very summery very tropical it gives like vacation it puts you in that vacation like tropical vacation mood I love it for summer next thing I have it is, is a room spray I like to carry a room spray in my bag this one I only I got it from the dollar store fresh linen it smells really good to be a dollar 25 it smells absolutely amazing next I have this small refillable perfume refillable um, how do you call it bottle I also got this one from Timu so cute it's gold it doesn't get a lot of perfumes I'll say you probably get like 20 sprays uh, out of it so you just open it and you just kind of like you open your perfume bottle and you just kind of like refill it right now I have the Prada Paradox in it but it comes in really handy especially if you are uh, you don't want to carry heavy things like perfumes you can just refill this and carry it in your bag instead of the whole bottle so absolutely nice this was also very inexpensive I think I'm gonna order more of this. next thing I have is um, antibacterial wipes I mostly carry this for my kids. I got the Kleenex tissue. Always try to carry a tissue, girl. You always need to carry tissue. You never know. You might have a booger in your nose or something. This is funny. Don't laugh at me, but <laughs> Friends is like one of my favorite shows. And I saw this word search and it was Friends. And I bought it just for fun. If I'm like at a doctor's office and I'm waiting around sometime instead of being on my phone or like reading a book, this is super flat. So it fits in my bag. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So I just keep this in my bag and do the crossword. I'm almost done with it, but I feel like an old lady when I'm doing it. Crosswords because I don't see any younger person do crosswords. In the small um, compartment here, I have some sunglasses. 
these are just some cheap sunglasses that I got from Timu but I absolutely adore them they are very stylish I love them I don't have a case for them which I probably should they don't look they feel kind of cheap uh, if you check my Timu haul that I had the one and only Timu haul that I have on this channel you will see these glasses they definitely feel kind of cheap but they look very stylish so I carry them in my bag sometimes I even leave them in the car and I have still in the small compartments of this bag the Brazilian boom boom cream this is the small size that came in the set this is so moisturizing and this one is a small it doesn't last but I think you just need to use them on like your driest areas like your elbows your hands your your knees and things like that because if you're gonna use this for your whole body it's literally gonna last you three days last but not least still in the small pockets of the bag I have um, the Chanel this is the Chanel number five on hand cream this is different from the hand cream that they have actually when I bought this I was looking for the hand cream but this is more of the number the number five uh, Chanel more like a fragrance lotion so uh, instead of using this on my hands as a hand cream I actually use this when I just want to like freshen up and smell good I'll put it like on my chest area maybe the back of my neck and things like that because this is more this more serves as a fragrance like lotion and you can also use it as a hand cream if you want it smells just like the Chanel number no. 5 fragrance and now that the bag is empty I'm gonna show you how it snaps so this is what the inside looks like and it has the snaps it has pollen on the snap and when you snap it close it looks like that for the bag to snap close you literally only can have I probably only have my wallet and like my makeup bag if I want my bag to snap close that's all but this is what it looks like it is absolutely gorgeous I actually wouldn't mind if they do like a large size I think the large size might be good too if you're interested in this bag hopefully this review was helpful and hopefully it was helpful for you to see what actually fits in the bag um, check the description box below for any links that you need from everything that I showed today I really appreciate you guys for watching and welcome back to the channel we are back and we're gonna be back posting on a regular basis take care happy new month August I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Put it down for me. You say you down for me. Say you say you put it out